Andrews. 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 And I remember this day. In preparation for the role of Eliza Doolittle in My Fair Lady, I, an English girl, had to study with Alfred Dixon, a New Yorker, to learn a Cockney accent. I E I L U. All right. Yes. Um, Oh, we are proud. Did you tell him I come in a taxi? Julie, you're not giving it to me broad enough yet. Oh. All right, try it again. Oh, we are proud. Did you tell him I come in a taxi? That's okay. <laughs> no, you're not giving me enough of the pitch arc. You see, melody is the soul of a dialect accent. You're not giving me enough of the cockney melody. Listen. Oh, we are proud. Did you tell him I come in a taxi? No, that's better. That's better. Now, uh, let's take the line where Higgins gives her the chocolate. Um, yes. I wouldn't have ate it, only I'm too ladylike to take it out of your mouth. Well, that's pretty good. Now, let's try it with the chocolate. Oh, oh. I wouldn't have ate it, only I'm too ladylike to take it out of your mouth. I can't understand you now. You're mumbling. Yeah, well, there's your mouth. Right, let's try it again. Oh, ow. Now what's the matter now? Honestly, this accent. You know, one of these days I'm going to wake up and not be able to speak any differently. Wouldn't that be funny? Can you imagine me saying to my mother, Hello, ducks, how's me dear old mum today? <laughs> she wouldn't know who it was. Yes, she would. As you said, how with an H. Oh, Alfred. I said no H's. Ow, 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 ow. No ow. H's. However, let's not be too discouraged. Now, let's take Just You White, Henry Higgins, Just You White. Mm. Just You White, Henry Higgins, Just You White. Here becomes an R. I'm sorry. Just You White, Henry Higgins, Just You White. And now the rat. You got a gutter's knife. Just the You White, Henry Higgins, Just You White. And now the fury. Yeah, you hate him. Just White, Henry Higgins. He's a bully. Yes, He's yes, kept yes, you up all night. Just You White, Henry Higgins. Bread and water. All right, all right. Just You White, Henry Higgins, Just You White. Good. Now. You'll be sorry, but your tears will be too light. You'll be broken on as money. Will I help you down with money? Just you wait, Henry Higgins. Just you wait. Just you wait, Henry Higgins, till you're sick. And you scream to fetch a doctor double quick. I'll be off a second later and go straight to the theater. Oh, Henry Higgins, just you wait. Oh, Henry Higgins. Just you wait until we're swimming in the sea. Oh, Henry Higgins, and you get a crab, a little wife from me. When you yell you're going to drown, I'll get dressed and go to town. Oh, ho, ho, Henry Higgins, oh, ho, 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 Henry Higgins, just feel white. I'll be proper and prim Go to St. James So often I will call it St. Jim One evening the king will say Oh, Liza, I'll sing I want all of England Your praises to sing Next week on the 20th of May I proclaim Liza do little night all the people will celebrate the glory of you And whatever you wish and want I gladly will do Thanks a lot, King, says I in a manner well read But all I want is every Higgins' head Done, says the King, with a stroke
I've never even sung with an orchestra before. I'm an actor. Look at them. 31 musicians waiting to accompany me. They'll hate me. They're the enemy, that's what they are. But they mustn't know that. They mustn't know that I'm frightened. I guess they're coming, Grants. Oh, that was wonderful. You really had to be perfect. Got the action wonderfully. Oh, thank you. What about the orchestra? Aren't they marvellous? Are they? Oh, yes. It's like, well, singing on a feather bed compared to that rehearsal piano. Oh, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be marvellous. Thank you. I'm going out front to watch, my love. I right. see you. Oh. Mm. This is our star, Rex Harrison. Uh, I'm delighted uh, to see you, gentlemen. Uh, this is really the first time I've ever sung on the stage. I, I think if we're patient with each other, we'll be able to solve your problems. Uh, I'm rather a slow study, and, and, and I've had to train myself to be patient. And I, I just hope that my patience doesn't bore you. <laughs> Would you like to do it once with piano, Rex? No, not in the least. I thought you might be nervous. Oh, no, not at all. Shall we go? Uh, by all means. On the top. I've grown accustomed to her face. She almost makes the... Uh, excuse me, what are you playing down there? That doesn't sound like accustomed to your face. I uh, know it isn't. It's I'm an ordinary man. Oh. Oh, all right, well, begin again. Then. From the top? From the, from the what? From the beginning. From the beginning. I'm an ordinary man who desires nothing more than just an ordinary chance to live exactly as he likes and do precisely what he wants. Can you hear me? Yes. What? Yes, I can hear you, Rex. Well, I can't hear you. How can you hear me? Excuse me. <laughs> you don't seem to be blowing in this number. Would you mind just running to the back of his head and seeing if you can hear me? I play in a minute, Mr. Harrison. You do? Ye gods. From an average man am I. An average man am I. Of no eccentric will. Who likes to live his life free of strife, doing whatever he thinks is best for him. I just a, an ordinary man. But let a woman in your life. Stop, 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 stop. Take it out. I demand that be taken out. Take out what? That ya ta 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 it's, it's, it's so loud. How do I know where to sing? You'll get used to it, right? I will never get used to it. It's absolutely ridiculous for a man to be standing up here saying his lines with a symphony orchestra blasting away down there. What would you like to do, Rex? I'd like to do it as a straight play. That's what I'd like to do. Shall we go on? Oh, yes, 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 go on. But there's a woman in your life. And you're not against a wall. Make a plan and you will find she has something else in mind. And so rather than do I, you do something else that neither likes at all. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, do you think there might be a laugh there? There will for me, Rex. Well, then, if there is, would you mind you and your chaps just uh, waiting a minute? Oh, we couldn't do that, Rex. Why not? Make a plan and you will find she has something else in mind. And so rather than do either, you do something else that neither likes at all. Well, and it's vaguely funny, isn't it? It is, Rex. But once the music begins, it continues to the, through to the end. But that's absurd. Supposing the audience laughs and they miss the next line. Rex, in the music, the audience knows not to laugh into the next line. You see, I don't believe you. Uh, where did they learn that? They just know. Let's take it from they want to talk of Keats and Milton. You want to talk of Keats or Milton? She only wants to talk of love. You go to see a play or ballet and spend it searching for her glove. Oh, there's a woman in your life and you invite her to strike and defy their wedding bands with an anxious in her hands. I'd be equally just... What's happened? Uh, I thought I was doing beautifully. You got ahead of us, Rex. We cannot play that fast. Well, take out some notes. There's far too much going on down there. I can't hear myself think on this day. Aren't you supposed to be following me? I'm not supposed to be following you. Let's go tour with it once, Rex. No, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. We'll have to come to some understanding about this, you know, otherwise the curtain will not go up tomorrow night. Let's go on to the next section. I sing this song on a balcony four miles from the orchestra pit, and when I'm up here all alone, I want to know that you're following me. Shall we go on? 
Uh, yes, go on. From the top of the next section. From the top, from the top, from the top. I'm a very gentle man. Even-tempered and good-natured, whom you never hear complain, who has the milk of human kindness by the quart in every vein, a patient man of mine, down to my fingertips, the sort who never could, never would, let an insulting remark escape his lips. Just a very gentle Let a woman in your life. And patient hasn't got a chance. She will beg you for advice. Your reply will be concise. And she'll listen very nicely. Then go out and do precisely what she wants. You are a man of grace and polish. Who never spoke above a hush. Now all at once you're using language. That would make a sailor blush. Let a woman in your life. And you're thundering in a night. Let the others of my sex tie the knot around their necks. I prefer a new edition of the Spanish Inquisition than ever let a woman in my life. I'm a quiet living man who prefers to spend the evenings in the silence of his room, who likes an atmosphere as restful as an undiscovered tomb, a pensive man. A philosophic joy Who likes to meditate, contemplate Free from humanity's mad inhuman noise Just a quiet living man Let a woman in your life, and your sabbatical is true. In a line that never ends, come an army of her friends, come to chatter and to chatter and to tell her what the matter is with you. She'll have a booming, boisterous family who will descend on you en masse. She'll have a large, ordinarian mother, oh, with a voice that shatters glass. Let a woman in your life, let a woman in your life. I shall never let a woman in my life. Bravo. This will be a disaster. A great theatrical disaster. I am going to be standing on this stage tomorrow night like the captain of the Titanic. My Fair Lady by Alan J. Lerner and Frederick Lowe opened on Broadway March 15, 1956. It's still running. And the songs that Mr. Rex Harrison recorded for My Fair Lady have sold since that date 28 million copies. Not bad for a man who never sang before. <laughs>